Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we've actually got two systems actually from the user TrollEG in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending in their systems. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check them out. So the first one was sent by Google Drive, so that should be in here somewhere. So if I go to Last Modified, there it is, okay. Right, let's see what he has got prepared for us. Right, whoa. Is that a black hole there? Hey, hey. Right. Okay. Is that in a binary with a barry? There's a barry sensor. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So the Gam Gamlium system is a small system in the distant uh, lenticellar galaxy Leda 130105, uh, located approximately 738 million light years away. This is the true distance of this real galaxy. So it's a real deal then. Okay. Even though this system is fictional, the system is what is known as a low mass x-ray binary lmxb a multiple star system with a compact object in this case a black hole which produces x-rays uh, gallium is made up of gamlam a stellar mass black hole which exploded approximately 420 million years ago and cosium Co cosium uh, a right uh, a red dwarf which was once a white main sequence star okay the system is surrounded by just four planets okay so let's go ahead and uh peak okay so there's our star and black hole okay so first of the planets we have uh layer layer ash uh, can we go on realistic lighting let's see there you go that's better okay cool oh don't know if you guys can hear that very loud motorcycle outside sorry about that i've got to have the windows open it's still quite hot where i am so it's unbearable if I have the windows shut, unfortunately. <laughs> but anyways, um, onto this object. So, Layash, a relatively warm Mars-like world and the closest planet in. It is a small with a thin atmosphere and huge ice caps. However, its deepest valleys, the pressure is great enough for liquid water to exist. A probe currently orbits um, this planet is monitoring it for any signs of life in the small lakes. It has a small closer moon known as Dentia. So there it is there. Okay, nice. And then... I'm not sure where the probe is. We can see a cloud of material here. So I'm not sure what that's about. But okay, cool. What do we got next? Let's put labels on. So what is causing that? Look, you can see these guys got their own two orbits here. But what what orbit is this? I don't know if you guys can see my mouse, but there's two orbits to the left of it. What What is that? It's not those particles. I wonder what's causing those two orbits. Is like a hidden object without a name or something? I've... Not sure. But anyways, uh, next up we've got uh, Kamatag. A very low density ice world with a thin atmosphere and five moons. Three major, uh, the three major moons seem to always switch orbit, which resulted in an Io-like situation for the innermost moon and the outermost moon, known as uh, Lima Lech, having uh, fissures across its icy surface which occasionally spout liquid water from this thin subsurface ocean. Okay, so we can see here, here are the moons. So that's the first one. We have the second one down here, and then lastly, we've got the third one all the way over here. Right, okay. There it is. Cool. Right, next up, we've got uh, Yenoyom. Once a mighty gas giant. Okay, so there it is. It has been stripped down to its core by the supernova. Oh, yeah, of course, because this is a, a remnant. Yeah. Um, so the only thing left is the core. The planet is extremely dense with a very thick atmosphere and two sets of beautiful rings, actually originating from shredding one of its moons. Uh, Naguri, uh, Elevo, uh, like Limelech orbs in Kamatag, oh, this is confusing, uh, has fissures throughout its icy crust due to tidal interactions with Naguri and is known to have exotic subsurface life in its underground water ammonia ocean. Further out, its largest moon, Edmund, actually has its own set of small rings created by a small collision recently. In total, there's six moons, three of which are major. Okay, nice. So, let's have a look here. They're very close, some of these, okay. So there's Naguri that we were mentioned about, and then there's the one at the end of it. Uh, yeah, there it is. Is there one with rings as well? Where's that? Yeah, there, there it is. Nice. Very, very cool. Okay, and then also we've got f uh, three more minor moons as well in there. So, cool. Okay, next up we've got Furutar, the last planet in the system. Right, it's over here. 
It's a cold, bluish gas dwarf, once a layer ice uh, giant. It has six known moons, one major. The planet is far from its parent star, and it's always completely dark from a very faint reflection, which allows the approximate band structure to be seen. So there it is here, very, very dim. Kind of like a realistic looking Neptune, actually, there. Nice. And onto the moons. There they all are there. So, there are those guys. All right, uh, quite a lot of them, actually. There you go, cool. Um, so there are those, and that is the description done. So there's that system. So quite a small little sweet system there, based off a real uh, real existing thing, but um, obviously um, fictional with most bits. So yeah, pretty cool though. I liked it. So black hole and binary star system going together there. Cool. All right. Next up, we have got a workshop simulation, so it should be here already. Where is it? It's called the. The Himaku system. Okay, I don't think I've got it here. Okay, I need to get that set up. So just bear with me, guys. Okay, guys. No, it was here the whole time. I'm just being stupid. It is here. Uh, uh, oi, what's going on? There we go. Click on that. Cool. Right, so. The, the Himaku system. Four trillion years ago, two brown dwarfs collided in a distant part of the immense dying universe, birthing the only star in a billion light years in every direction. The planets were flung into wide arching orbits which eventually settled into stable through chaotic looking orbits. Eventually the closest planet birthed life, the only life in the entire universe now only starting to look out to the vast empty universe nearly 86 trillion years old. So this is in the far far future, there's no universe left. The last red dwarf pretty much. Right okay so first up, it's an M9V red dwarf formed from two brown dwarfs. So here it is, there's also a space station there. Cool. Okay. Right, so first up we got Chella over here. An Earth-like planet with water and life as well as intelligent life. So pretty much the only life in the universe currently. So there it is. Very dim here. So there's only one star. Got some sort of thing orbs in it as well. Next up we got Perhan. So that's over here. A cold desert planet with a small moon. Perhan is quite resource rich and so has been colonized by the intelligent beings from Chella. So there it is there. Also got some space station bits around it. Got one small moon as well. Okay. Next up we got Yang Yu, a small ice world with a thick atmosphere and lakes of methane. Yang Yu is is in a binary with its companion planet Hyvern, technically a dwarf planet. Uh, colonization, colonization attempts have started. So here it is. Got a scouting probe in orbit as well. There's the planet itself. So it looks pretty, uh, pretty thick atmosphere. And underneath you can see a almost Titan-like appearance. There you go. Okay. And we've also got one object here in the binary. Says Hyven. Looking good. All right. Next up, we've got. So this one here, M Mavalika, a small gas giant with a neon and oxygen-rich atmosphere, which causes its distinct colorization. It has two large moons and several small ones. So there it is. Okay, so we'll get a look at all of those guys, like so. There's a probe as well. Bone, Robius. Okay, that's them all there. Right, then we have Yaima, a comet. So that is there. Okay. Then we have uh, Vuriten, a small cold planet of one captured moon. So that is here. Uh, there we go, complete darkness now, so we'll go on to flashlight mode. There you go. Well, I guess directional light would be the better one, so there it is. Okay. So very, very far away from the parent star over there. That's the only thing you see in the universe now is that, since the, uh, the universe at this point is very, very large and constantly expanded, nothing left. Um, okay, then we have uh, Lugamo, a relatively small ice world with a... A tenuous atmosphere. It has four known moons, including one major moon. Uh, Le Lagumo is notable as it is still geologically active. Somehow, it might have a thin subsurface ocean underneath its surface. So there it is. Also with the moons. As you can see, they're all just minor here. Okay, and then next we have uh, Herma, the furthest body from Himaku. It is a tiny frigid planet, strapped on the planet dwarf planet boundary other than that is not very noteworthy so there it is and it is the planet first from the star so the doorstep to the empty universe as you can see 
so pretty cool but yeah there we go so that does it for both of the systems today we'll get a line up all this system as well why not so this is the last system in the universe pretty much so there you go guys so what do you think of that there we are okay but yeah as always thank you to the user who submitted this so that was troll EG in discord massive thank you to them quite enjoyed those actually quite a nice little bit of reading not too much not too little liked it cool cool good stuff there and yeah um thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed it make sure that like button let's see if we can go for 60 likes on today's video so guys and also subscribe if you're new help us on the journey to 26,000 subscribers now as we hit 25 um before i film this just before i film this so yeah massive thank you to all of you for that it's really really appreciating yeah an amazing amazing step up so yeah really really appreciate it and yeah kind of honestly can't thank you um guys enough for that but yeah that all said and done Make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.